Hello everybody, it is Mr. Io here for another video and today I'm going to be basically showcasing my um, floating point adder that I made and it is half precision IEEE 754 standard compatible. So what that means is that these uh, the numbers that you put in and get out are the same as you could, you know, as, as real life CPUs use. So that's pretty useful for a lot of things. One of those being that if I wanted to demo this calculator, or if I wanted to demo this adder, I could use a just a website that I found on Google, the first page of Google, um, to basically add, you know, figure out what the floating point representation of a decimal number is and then adding it. So, you know, if I wanted to add like 63.7 and then like, I don't know, 5.9, then I can just add these and it'll tell me the result as well as, you know, the actual binary representation, which is very useful when we're trying to input this into the calculator because then I don't need to do that manually. You know, we have a computer that can do that or we have an automated system that can do that. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and input this number and figure out if we have the same. So, yeah, in instead of me trying to explain floating point to you because it's just outside the scope of this video, I will just sort of impl input what the website says is the floating point representation. Uh, and then, you know, see if it matches the output. All right, so let's get started here. All right, so the significant for A is that, and I'm just pasting these in right now, I'm trying to be as efficient as possible. Paste that in there for the exponents, control C, control V. I'm just pasting in the exponents right now. There we go. All right, let's input this now. So we got one, zero, one. There we go. One, um, zero, zero, one. Down here, we got tons of ones. So all ones except one, two, three, four from the end. So I think I just did that right. Yes. Um, here we go. Does that look right to you guys? At the end here, we got four, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero. Eh, yes, okay, I think that's correct. Over here, we're going to add zero. One, two, three, four zeros, I think. One, two, three, four. Sorry, four ones. Two zeros, two ones, and then a zero. Okay, we added that up. Now let's go over to our um, website here. And let's figure out if this is right or not. So, um, yeah, basically, let's see here. Okay, so we're going to have the output. Let's look at just the exponent which is one zero one zero one one zero one zero one okay they match um, for the mantissa we have got three zeros we have got a one got a zero one one zero zero one okay so they match so what that means is that um, it's working it's working um, pretty well if you guys understand floating point you could probably read this in your head and also realize that it's right um, and yeah, what this means um, is basically that, you know, and I'll add another number at the end of the video as well. Um, but basically what this means is that we're able to do anything that is like, anything to do with decimals. You know, if you want to do 3D calculations, you want to do maybe some anti-aliasing, you want to do, you know, color calculations, maybe some ray tracing <laughs> or something like that. You know, you kind of need floating point, or at least it's going to be a lot easier to implement using floating point. Um, and I intend to make a, another version of this or like an improved version, which is going to be full precision. That means, um, 23, um, 23 mantissa bits, uh, eight exponent bits and one sign bit. Um, and that's going to have much higher precision. I intend to make that a adder, subtractor and multiplier. And I'm going to be using that in my CPUs, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to demo this sort of cut down version of a, you know, floating point unit, I guess it's just a floating point adder, but um, anyway, enough rambling. I'm going to add one more number and then I'm going to head out. So I'll pick another number here. Um, I'm going to do two numbers that are a little closer to each other. So we'll do like 3.145 plus, did I put in three? I did not put in three. We'll try 4.145 plus, and then we'll do like 2.78 or something like that. I'm going to add those together gives us what number or gives us the answer that we should be getting. So we, we, we you know, we have an idea of, you know, if we're going to be right or not. All right, let me copy over the significant for A. Whoops. 
you have copy of the significant for A, copy of the significant for B, exponents, exponent. And if you understand, yeah, if you understand like floating point and stuff, you'll know that these outputs are right because you can, you know, you can read that in your head or with a calculator. Anyway, I'm gonna implement input this. So yeah, one zero zero one. There we go. Just one zero zero zero. All right, for our mantissa, we got one two three four ones. Or sorry, four zeros. And we got a one, we got two zeros, then a one zero one. Two zeros and a one zero one. If we got it's correct. Over here, we got zero, one one, zero zero, then one one one. Okay. Does that match? Zero, one, one. Yes, okay, that is matching. That is correct. Inputs, let's have a look at the output now. Is that correct? Yeah, you got our expected value here. So, um, looking at first the exponent bits, we should be getting one, zero, 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 one. We are indeed getting one, zero, zero, one. All right, for the mantissa bits, we should be getting one, zero, and three ones in a row. Yes, three ones in a row. Zero. Oops, sorry. Um, zero, and then one, one, zero, zero. Okay, we're getting the right output here. So, um, yeah, one more feature actually uh, I'm gonna just tell you about is this rounding here. I guess I should probably label this as round rounding mode. Um, currently I have because the thing is on. It means that it's set to the same rounding mode as the website, which is, um, I believe it is round to nearest. Um, yeah, it's round to nearest mode. Uh, this would be the round to least significant if it was off, but I have it set to the one that the website is using just for the sake of, you know, so that it's, uh, it's got exactly matching outputs. Anyway, so yeah, that's nice. You can change the rounding mode. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how fast this thing is. I'd say like, uh, Maybe a hundred ticks. Yeah, it's at least a under a hundred ticks to send something through and get the output. But I've got my rate. You can see up there. I changed my rate to one thousand. So it's it's running pretty fast. Um, maybe if I run it a little slower, you'll see the sort of delay. If I set up the rate to like twenty, you'll see that it is um it does have a bit of delay for stuff coming. If I change the exponent here, especially, we'll have quite a bit of flickering around here when I turn it off. <laughs> Looks kind of cool. Um, but anyway, that's why I set my rate up to you know, at least a thousand when I'm working, just because um, whoops, it's going to mean that uh, the outputs come a lot faster. Anyway, again, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Uh, if you guys like this video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you have any questions. If you want the board file, uh, DM me on Discord. My Discord tag is in the description. I don't want to like freely give this out, but if, if you really need it for some reason, um, I will give you the board file um, on Discord. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, I've said that already. I'm being offered. Goodbye. Peace.